So I think what would be kind of fun to do, since most of you uh, probably came from uh, Wallagug's video, um, I can... It's the right one. It's done. If I bring this here? Yeah, that works. Okay, so what I kind of wanted to do... Oh, well. We should go here. That's better? Yeah, that'll probably be fine. Uh, what I kind of wanted to do was look at... Uh, the... Spreadsheet. If anyone had any questions, I can kind of take a look at some of the different things on So I think someone asked earlier, like, how close was I to finishing with the run? Uh, so this is the totals board here. I made this actually fairly recently. Uh, just as an easier way to keep track, because I figured I'd be sharing this with people. And it's nice to have something you can just kind of look at. Uh, so this just kind of shows every single category. Categories are completely chosen by me for the most part, so it almost doesn't matter. But uh, you can kind of see where I am in each one. So this says 100, but that's up because just barely not finished. So in the fall, we're going to finish that one up. Uh, but at the bottom here, you'll see this is the 999 challenge. I should bolt this with letter bolt. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Uh, you said, see it says 82%. Uh, so unfortunately, I have 82% of the items. That's the best way I can track that. So of the 4 million, 4.5 million items I need, I have 3.7 million. But the problem with tracking it that way is that I got all the easy stuff first. <laughs> There's a few freebies, things you can just buy, a whole bunch of other stuff that I've already done. Uh, so I've gotten the majority of the easy stuff. So this last 20% is by far the hardest 20%. So um, let me just quickly kind of go through and talk about some of the sticklers here. This is a spreadsheet stream now. <laughs> uh, so this is the Wild Plum. I came so close to finishing it last year. I'm like within 50. So I'm going to have one harvest of that in the fall and I'll be done with that. Uh, in the veggies, the only thing left is the Fiddlehead Fern, which I talked about on uh, Gug's video about being terrible <laughs> uh, but I am making steady progress we're almost not halfway we're making steady progress let's call it that <laughs> it's not completely out of reach now uh, so some of the fun forges here uh, we've got the holly which is the only forge in the game I think besides the uh, beach forges that you can't get anywhere besides actually picking it off the ground uh, so this is just 23 years of me picking up hollies, and that's where I'm at right now. <laughs> Luckily, it's not used in any of the so I only need a stack of it. Uh, the mushrooms, for the most part, are done. Like, there's just a few more things I need to do. Common mushrooms, I've got such an insane amount. I don't even know what to do. Uh, but, like, chanterelles, like, pretty much done. Uh, red mushrooms are done. Purple mushrooms are getting really close. It's gonna take a little bit long. Um, Morals are probably the biggest problem, and then magma caps I just haven't been trying to get. Uh, morals is just going to take a while. You just need a lot of them, and I have a lot of them. It's like 3,000. I just get them as fast as all the other mushrooms. Uh, let's see. Um, the beach forges, so the sea urgents, rainbow shells, and nautilus shells. Uh, those were going to be pretty big sticklers, but 1.5 came out with the dangerous mines, and now I can get all three of those. Uh, from the harder dangerous mines basically they spawn on the uh, first 20 floors just right uh, so by running those which I'll probably be doing soon actually I'll just eventually get enough it'll be a little annoying uh, flowers are completely done I finished those years ago I think that might be the first category I finished again these categories categories are made completely by me but they they have some bearing on what's actually in there uh, the fish is probably one of the slowest going categories. I just have to use the fish ponds, right? So I did alphabetically these first few. Uh, the ones that are done down here are either crab foot fish or the lava eel. The lava eel was the first thing I put in the fish ponds. It's because I was like, oh my gosh, these are so hard to get. It's so cool that you can make a whole bunch of them now. And then I just finished those up while I had them there. The rest are uh, crab pot fish for the most part. Oh, and the slime jack. Forgot about the slime jack. Uh, I completely, like, vanilla, without without the crab, sorry, without the fish ponds, finished off the slime jack. Like, I just fished oh, them out. <laughs> uh, that is yarn. Thanks for the follow, yarn. Yes, 
I hope everyone enjoys uh, Spreadsheet Stardew. <laughs> a very, very niche uh, streaming. <laughs> uh, so I fill this out every year, so this isn't up to date, but it's mostly up to date. Uh, so there's a few things on here, like the son of the Crimson Fish, so basically the secondary legendary fish. Those are going to take a long time. I've got about six of each. Uh, but I'm just not focused on that right now. At some point, I'll take the time to make sure I do all of that. But it's going to involve sleeping weeks away until I get the right quest. So I might as well do it while I'm also doing the sleeping for the years. Uh, row basically follows fish completely. As I finish up fish, I finish up row. Nothing fancy about that. <laughs> uh, artisan goods. Outside of the aged row, which is just this horrible red blight on this otherwise pretty perfect... Um, sheet here. Uh, it's mostly done. Uh, there's a few weird things here. Well, there's the fiddlehead fern problem. But that's we've already addressed that. But then there's also like the unbranded pickles, the unbranded jelly, uh, the unbranded juice. Uh, all of those can only be got from the traveling cart. Oh, hi, Yarn. You actually went back and watched my VODs? Oh, that's incredible. Wow. Uh, <laughs> I'm actually a little sad I didn't stream this challenge from the beginning, because it would be really cool to have like a retrospective. I'm probably going to make a channel where I put all the VODs up there so they don't just get deleted. I have to do that pretty quick, because I'm I'm running up to the end of some of my VODs. So I will probably put a channel where you can see all those, because it's kind of fun to go back and see like the kind of stuff I was doing, <laughs> but it's going to really <laughs> fill up a huge YouTube channel. Oh, that's awesome to hear, uh, Yarn. I've been... Not decorating, for the most part. Uh, I'm not a huge decorator in this game, but I really enjoy watching people do it, because I just have no talent for making games, like, aesthetically. Just straight up. No no talent at all. Uh, <laughs> so it's really cool when I can watch other people do it. Like, I like watching Lee Chat. Uh, if you all know who Lee Chat is, work on her perfection farm. She makes everything look so pretty, and I just can't do that. <laughs> you might have noticed that my farm just looks like a factory. All right, awesome, Ebby. Uh, we're actually wrapping up here, Ebby. We're just going right now uh, kind of through some of the things that um, are like sticklers, things that are a bit tough to do. Uh, and then I'll be wrapping up after that. <laughs> yeah, I feel like Stardew is a good mix of um, you can watch streamers who do really cool stuff like working on <laughs> making stuff look really pretty, or you can watch like Habu uh, do challenge runs or speed runs. Like a really versatile game. There's a lot of really cool stuff you can do. Alright, uh, cooking. I'm actually trying to work on finished cooking right now. That is my current goal. Uh, so, I'm kind of going in order. Oh, that's got too much. Yes, I know. It's so fun, right? To <laughs> just go through every item in the game and spreadsheet it. Um, so, once per Stardew year, I have to go through and fill out all of this. I basically, It's like an audit, right? I just check all my chests and see what I have from everything. It's kind of fun to do. <laughs> Andre, I did have that problem for a while. Like, I'd watch people play and I was like, why aren't you doing this? Why aren't you doing that? Uh, but I kind of learned to just like, it's kind of fun watching people learn things on their own too. I guess that's kind of part of why I became a teacher, huh? It kind of fits hand in hand with that. Uh... Junimo's holding up the stars. Yes, the Junimo statues. Yes, um, I have about eight of them right now. I can get one per year, so it's just a very thing. You do that on the first of spring or the 28th of one. Oh, to get the Junimo statues? Oh, I see. Um, I finish the 28th of winter, and then on spring 1st, I um, I usually reset the day. I just go through and check everything, and then I start over. Getting... Yeah, the audit's on the uh, first of spring. So I wait till the 28th of winter's over. So basically my entire year is... Uh, yes, Yarn. So they respawn every first of spring. So that is how you get more than... Uh, so you can only get one per year. One of uh, a few items that are once per year. Anyways, sorry. I got distracted here. So back to cooking. Um, I'm trying to get all of these recipes done. Uh, the only one that I'm probably not going to be able to get done is the Fiddlehead Risotto. Because obviously I need Fiddlehead Ferns for that. Oh, it's Carson. Uh, but live. Welcome. Following. We're just doing uh, some spreadsheet stardew right now. Uh, so, for instance. Uh, the Carp Surprise. 
I made a lot of this early on, because um, I got a lot of extra carp when I was farming uh, slime jacks. Because that's the two different types of fish that can spawn there. It's carp and slime jack. Uh, but I will need to make carp ponds next. I think that is actually the next fish pond I'm going to do. Uh, luckily, that'll go pretty quick, because uh, carp are pretty quick. They're once every day, they're carps. Uh, crispy bass, so I'll be doing that fish pond probably after that one. Sardines, see a fiddlehead we just talked about. Uh, fish taco is kind of weird, and fried calamari are both in the same boat. So I actually get these from the Statue of Endless Fortune. Uh, Argo Matrix, thanks for coming on. Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> surprising how fun going through spreadsheets can be. Uh, yeah, so it's a hoot, or sorry, that's a hoot, excuse me. It's gotten a lot easier as time has gone on, as I filled in more and more things, because I don't need to check the things I'm done with. So I just gotta, it goes a lot quicker than it used to. It used to be I basically had to fill in every single item on the sheet, like what changed about it, and now it's like there's only like 60 items that I have to actually check now, compared to like the thousand that there is. Yeah. So, um... Oh, fried eel. Yes, so we do need to do the eel ponds. Here, yeah, lucky lunch. Um, requires a... What is it called? A sea cucumber? Yeah, sea cucumber. Uh, maki roll requires seaweed, which I will get from fish ponds as well. Uh, all of the crab pot fish ponds have a chance of getting seaweed. <laughs> yes. Uh, Audrey, I don't actually, I don't think I've ever actually counted the number of items total. Technically speaking, I could just go through each one of these sheets and total them, and that would probably be the best way to figure it out, uh, but that only includes items that stack or are part of this challenge. Uh, yes, Audrey, I actually saw that comment on Walligun's video, and um, as much as I want to start using the rod again, uh, I think I'm going to get enough seaweed just from um, the fish ponds that I don't need to about it um so it was it just has not been a concern of mine because i'm going to get enough seaweed while i'm waiting for the row from like the crab fish ponds and the taco fish ponds and all. it won't be an issue uh but if i do need to i know i can use the printing rod uh, um maybe you can enchant the training rod i've never tried but it might be possible i think you can enchant the other rod Alright, the uh, salmon dinner requires salmon. Uh, the seafood pudding actually requires two different fish. It's both the midnight ones. So I think the midnight carp and the midnight squid. I might be wrong about that, but it's something like that. Alright, see ya, yarn. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, squid ink ravioli actually only requires squid ink, which I will definitely get enough of <laughs> from various sources. I just haven't gotten it yet. Uh, and that's all the cooking. So I'm kind of hoping to finish up cooking... In a few years outside of the fiddlehead resort obviously okay now we get to the more of the fun stuff yeah squid ink um drops for one thing sorry just got a text i wanted to check real quick uh squid ink drops from monsters but not in high amount but when i start needing to get like uh squid through the squid ponds i'll get plenty of the stuff i'll have too much <laughs> so i'm not too worried about it at all uh, bat wings, on the other hand, are another thing entirely. Um, so there's this kind of weird feedback loop with bat wings. I use um, Monster Musk to get more bat wings, uh, but that requires bat wings. <laughs> but on the whole, it's like two years ago, this was 20%, and now it's 50%. So I am definitely gaining bat wings on the whole, for sure. Uh, it's just taking some time. Uh, dragon's teeth, they come from Stingray Fish Pond. It's gonna take a while. Uh, I actually need a lot of dragon's teeth. Yeah, batwing stocks exactly. <laughs> Line go up. Uh, but for dragon's teeth, I will get them from stingray fish ponds. And at the same time, I'm doing that. I imagine I'm also gonna be running the volcano mines every day, getting as many as I can from that. So it kind of like supplements each other. I also need to get magma caps, so that's a good. Uh, ostrich eggs will be done soon. Yes, so Island Warp Totems, and then I need a stack of the, obviously. 
been so much of the legwork for the challenge. Seems kind of close. Yeah, I, I'd like to think I'm close to being done. It's just a lot of actually playing the game, which is why it was a good idea to start streaming because it'll give me some reason to actually do this, and um, it gives people a chance to watch kind of the final stretch here. And maybe I won't get um, bored like maybe like I occasionally do with this challenge. I'll take I used to take like six months off at a time where I just didn't touch Stardew, um, but ever since 1.5 came out, I've been playing pretty steadily, uh, and this will give me even more reason to keep playing. Uh, so ostrich eggs, I get about 100 a year, so eventually this will be done. It just takes a long time. Uh, Galaxy Souls, I have 100. Um, this is one thing I'm probably never going to buy with Q gems because it's just so expensive. Uh, so what I do instead is I just get them from random drops, and I already have 100, so that's one tenth of the way done. Uh, slime hutch for the slime eggs. Yeah, slime eggs are kind of weird. Um, technically, I'll get the red and the purple one in high quantities, enough quantities when I get my auto petters because they drop from the chest just like those do. And then for the green and blue, I'm just gonna have to put slime in the slime incubators. Yes, which is why I'm glad there's so many people here to watch with me. Fun. Uh, I hope it keeps up. We'll see. <laughs> Uh, I um, guess I finished that. So I'm trying not to have overflow, which means like a higher percentage than it's there. I actually fixed that problem uh, through a very convoluted way of minimizing every single one of these numbers. If you look at this horrible equation that I had to write <laughs> for each one of these. Um, so if you know how to do this better, uh, it's too late for me, but <laughs> you can tell past me that he's an idiot. Uh, but that was the best way I could manage it. Yeah, the thing is, Abby, or NB, how do you want me to pronounce that, by the way? Is it just N by? I never read words the same way twice. Like, uh, the thing is, I'll be done with um, Galaxy Souls long before I get enough Q gems to buy things. <laughs> like, uh, my Q gems are going towards things I can't get otherwise. Instructors, the Junimo chests, and uh, mushroom tree seeds. So, by the time I'm probably done with all of that, I will have a stack of galaxy seeds. So, uh, Ventus? Yeah, that's probably easiest. Uh, slime is a very fun one. I love how this number worked out. It's literally just 18, 18, 18. <laughs> this is the amount of slime you need. To have a stack of thing in the game that requires slime. I just think that's really funny that it worked out to that number. Uh, but I'm getting that pretty quickly, so when I get my bat wings from Skull Cavern, I get a ton of slime. Uh, Solar Essence actually requires a ton, but you can see that I've uh, gotten quite a lot of it already. Uh, most of that goes to the new item called Mini Ovilus. 20. Um, 20 stacks of Solar Essence for that, so that's why there's so many Solar Essence required. So despite the fact that you can only ever put down two of them on your farm, the Miniopolis, you can still stack them. <laughs> so I still need a stack of them. I wish they worked on the um, Ginger Island farm. I think that would be a pretty good change, uh, so I can at least use four of them. <laughs> okay, uh, Squid Ink, we kind of already talked about that one. Uh, that'll just come in time. Or... All right, the seeds. So most of this stuff, you can actually see on this column here, uh, which of them are you can just buy. So if there's a yes here, that means I can just purchase it from Pierre. Um, uh, honestly, Hoot, so you're asking basically what my favorite part of the challenge is. Uh, honestly, it's this part. <laughs> I love the whole spreadsheeting of it. Like planning out the run was probably the most fun about it. Like, just figuring out exactly the sort of things I need to be able to do to solve problems. I, I love problem solving in general. That's probably why I got a physics major. <laughs> and part of why I'm a teacher. At least. Uh, so this is just, like, really nice for me. Okay, so most of these things are purchasable. Uh, we've talked about the, ba the banana saplings before. It's, it's not fun, but there's a way to do it. Uh, void Ghost Pendant. Um, I'm married, and I think you can only buy one of those. 
though I've never actually seen it in game because I've been married to Leah the whole time. Uh, but I think you can only buy one. Uh, yeah, Matrix. So, um, I've definitely had some problems before where I've done the math and I'm like, oh, wait, that didn't work at all like I thought it did. But that's more fun, too, because then I get to figure out a different problem. Like, just redefines the problem. Uh, mango tree seeds will come at the same time as banana saplings. I have a few extras of these because they drop from tiger slimes. Banana tree saplings. Uh, mushroom trees. I'm going to finish this by the end of the year, I'm pretty sure. I just need another stack of Q. So this tells you that it's five Q gems per mushroom. <laughs> yeah. Um, as far as using glitches like that to obtain items, I don't think <laughs> I'm going to define things like that. Um, but I don't know. Maybe I'll look into that. I don't think you can get a full stack of those. Uh, answer to what, Hoot? Uh, for, like, what was the hardest thing or my favorite thing to do? Yes, I guess spreadsheeting wasn't exactly <laughs> the common answer to that, is it? Um, I have a lot of fun in Skull Caverns. I think that's probably my favorite part of the run. Just generally, it's it's like tense, you know? It's like I, I'm actually doing something that's dangerous. Because uh, I'm using Monster Musk in the most dangerous mines in the game. <laughs> so it's just filled with monsters that can kill me pretty much at any time. Uh, so that's actually pretty fun to do. Uh, that's where I get my bat wings, my slime, a lot of other things too. Okay. Uh, bone fragments. Uh, so as you saw earlier today, I actually finished my uh, Skull Brazers. Which uh, means that I'm done with bone fragments, right? No. <laughs> So, unfortunately, uh, this guy right here, uh, that is the, um, oh goodness, what's it called? The Ostrich Incubator. And it is over half of the total bone fragments I need. So you can see this is at 29,000. So, really, the only last I need is these 50 stacks. Or, like, I'm actually over 50. Almost over 50 in this one. It's just the 50 stacks I need for that, uh ostrich incubator but i'm not gonna worry about that <laughs> until it comes up because i also need cinder shards which as you can see i am criminally low on i only have 44 of them right now uh i had to remake my my uh infinity gavel which required a lot of cinder shards and i just haven't gotten any back yet okay hardwood as i said i'm getting pretty close 80 percent however close is relative because i'm still missing about 40,000 hardwood. Uh, so 40 more stacks of hardwood. Uh, so I probably won't finish this year, but I might be able to finish next year. Uh, prismatic shards are just chugging away. Uh, the geodes. I actually have finished frozen geodes now, mostly from bombing the mines. Um, I stopped lava eels too soon, otherwise I'd be done with magma geodes too. Uh, usually when I say gear, I refer to an in-game year. Because uh, uh, in real life years vary, whereas in game years for Stardew do not. <laughs> a little easier to tell time. Hopefully not <laughs> in real life years. Uh, we'll see. If I keep up the pace that I'm keeping up, I imagine I could probably finish this challenge in years actual time. Um, it's going to depend on how long some of the late things take. I haven't really mapped out the time it's going to take me to do some of that stuff. I was talking with uh, Cord in his stream the other day. He's like, yeah, you're going to be spending like 300 hours, probably. He did some rough math on uh, just resetting or just sleeping for a thousand years. So <laughs> that's going to be quite a lot of time in real life. Okay. Um, radioactive ore and radioactive bar, those have just been slowly going up. A few people in the uh, in Gug's comments and uh, Walla Gug's videos comments were making suggestions on how I can get radioactive ore. And yes, I can reset uh, the floors and the harder mines, and that'll probably be quicker. But I'm not really worried about getting it done quickly. I'm just slowly getting them. Uh, let's see. You mean prismatic shards? Slaying all the magma sprites. Oh, I see. Cinder shards. Oh, I never even thought about using monster musk. In lava mines, 
yeah, that would probably be a really good idea. That will definitely get me a lot more. I wonder if it works. Because I think the lava mines are kind of seeded. They're the same thing every single day. They don't get randomized at all. But I bet the enemies change if you use Monster Musk. I probably have to check on that, but I'm pretty sure that's right. Alright, uh, minerals. These only require crystal crystallariums, as you can see by this lovely column here. So I got them all done. <laughs> it just took a long time. But none of you have to see that, because <laughs> it's already done. Uh, let's see. Artifact troves. So these are my nightmare. I need 28,000 artifact troves. And I've currently gotten about almost 3,000. So it just takes a long time. They're more annoying to just open, though. I just have to sit there for an hour clicking. I'm going to get an auto-clicker for that, probably. <laughs> so I oh, can't do other things. Uh, let's see. That was... I'm just going to call you Dump. I hope that's not offensive. It's Dump Lin Gazal, I think. But I don't want to get that wrong. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. All right. Here's where our auto-petters are and our auto-grabbers. I could technically buy the auto grabbers, as you can see, it cost me 24 million just to finish those off, which I could do, but I'm going to get them anyways when I'm getting auto petters, so they're just as likely to come out of uh, Salt Cavern Mines Chests. Okay. Um, so this is the really big category. This is the other category. So originally when I made the spreadsheet, um, a lot of these things didn't stack. For instance, things like campfires didn't use to stack, uh, carved brazers, a cast didn't exist, but chests didn't even stack. So I just had an other category for like a few things, like the uh, bait, like the batteries, things like that. And then suddenly all those things were made to stack, and rather than me being smart and making like a craftable category, because I'd probably have to move a few things around like the torches and whatnot, I was dumb and I <laughs> just kept putting items on here. So it's just a really long category that's full of like a whole mishmash of things. Uh, speaking of which, okay, so this has to be taken off. I used to think it was possible to get a stack of these, but you can't get more. Oh, Dumpling. Oh my goodness. I don't know why I didn't think that. <laughs> Alright, I'll just call you Dumpling, though. That's perfectly fine. <laughs> I love Dumplings, too. I don't know why I didn't see that. I was seeing it as, like, three different words. I just saw, like, Dump, Lin, and then Gazal. <laughs> or Gazul. It's funny. Sorry about that. <laughs> Okay, so um, the coffee maker will be taken off. Um, I don't want to mess up my spreadsheet, so I haven't touched it yet. <laughs> but it should be pretty easy to take off. Uh, deconstructor just requires 20 Q gems per, so that's just going to be about getting Q gems. Uh, enricher, and then later on the um, pressure nozzle, they both drop from monsters. So I'm going to wait to buy those until I have bought everything that doesn't randomly drop from monsters. Uh, farm computer requires the um, artifact, what's it called? The dwarf computer or the dwarf gadget, I think it's called. So I'm just trying to get as many of those as I can. Okay, uh, golden coconuts. Welcome to that world. <laughs> uh, luckily, that's almost done as well. Uh, I'll have a stack of those, and then for unrelated reasons, I need to get another seven stacks. So that'll be a fun trip. Uh, heavy tappers. This is something you can actually buy with cube gems. Oh no, that's the hopper I'm thinking of. Uh, but the heavy tappers I can make. I need um, radioactive bars and hardwood. Uh, I have the hardwood, but I do not have the radioactive bars. So I'm just waiting. Uh, hoppers. Hoppers is a weird one because you can craft them or you can buy them for 10 cube gems. Um, crafting them also requires radioactive bars. I'm probably going to end up crafting them. Might be half and half, but it's going to be one of the last oh, things crazy. I buy, because I can technically craft them. Hey, Escape. Uh, and Sleepy. Uh, thank you for following. Welcome. Okay, uh, Junimo chests. So those cost 15 uh, Q gems apiece. Um, I'm going to start buying those next, actually. So as soon as I finish Mushroom Seeds, I'm going to start buying them. Uh, but it's going to take a long time. So if you just do some rough rap math here... 15 times uh, a full stack of Junimo chests is 999. Uh, it really <laughs> gets high into the few gem requirements. But I do the quests every single week and I get a whole bunch from the mines. It just takes some time. Uh, Magic Rock Candy, I buy it every week. In fact, I did the math on this. I have not yet missed a week since it came out. 
So I have 185 of them. Uh, you can technically get magic rock candy as a drop from uh, Haunted Skulls, but it's really annoying. Uh, so I just haven't been bothering to try that. <laughs> it would save me some time, but really it's not time I need to save, so it doesn't. Uh, mini obelisks. This has actually gone up a little bit because I crafted a few in spring. Uh, but it's just, it's just gonna. It depends on my solar essence. That's the only thing I need for it now. A uh, mini shipping bin is another one that needs to be taken out, but I'm not gonna do it right now. It's not possible to get another one unless you're on multiplayer, and I'm not doing multiplayer. Uh, oil maker requires slime. That's the only thing I'm low on for that, and I've been using my slime to make monster mines right now. Uh, so you see, I've made a bunch of these. I used to be using my excess slime for this. Now I'm using monster mines. Taking a break from it. Ostrich incubator. Um, this is the worst item in the game. <laughs> it requires an insane amount of materials. You notice I have two of them right now, but that's it. <laughs> uh, that's probably going to stay two for uh, like 20 in-game years before I start making them. Let's see. <laughs> Uh, pressure nozzles, again, they drop from enemies, so I'm not going to buy them if you do. Uh, the rare crows. Uh, so this is the alien crow, rare crow 3 here. So you can see it takes 100 million, just about, uh, money to buy it all. And that's probably going to be the last thing I use money. So that'll be a fun stream. I'm just going to be sitting there buying <laughs> casino coins for an hour and a half. Uh, the rest of the rare crows are either yearly or in the special case of Rare Crow 4, uh, you get them from the traveling cart. Uh, but you get it at a much higher rate than once per year. I have 92 of those. Uh, these two are, you can just buy. These three, you can just buy in quantity. So now I just have all of those done. I talked about seaweed already. It's just, I'm gonna get that from fish ponds eventually, so I just haven't been. Uh, I finished these today. So technically these are done. I don't like to touch my sheet until the end of the year though. I don't like to update anything because um, I like to see it all happen at the same time and see what changes. So I'm just going to leave that as is for now. Uh, slime incubator. Remember, I think this requires slime. That's why I haven't. Uh, so Skate, I'm not going to be doing a multiplayer run. I don't think the diamond rings stack though, if I were to guess, um, because no other ring in the game stacks. So my best guess is they would not stack coded the same way. So I'm not doing anything in multiplayer. <laughs> uh, Statues of Endless Fortune. I have 200 of them, which puts me at 20% done. Which means I only have to spend another 800 million. <laughs> Essentially, that's my uh, billion gold speedrun. Slowly make money to buy those in the background. Uh, the island totems. So I have all the other totems done. The island totems require dragon's teeth. I get that done. Throw that out. Artifacts. This is the reddest sheet in the entire list. <laughs> you can just see it's covered in a bunch of red. I only added this like a year ago. Um, mostly because I just... <laughs> I was like, my artifacts aren't changing that much. I'll just get them as I get them. But now that I've actually made a plan to get... How I'm going to get all my artifacts and everything, I now have this on a sheet. And you can see... Uh, it doesn't look good. So there's most of these I can get from Treasure Trove. Here, Artifact Trove right here. You can see all the ones that I can get from it there. A good number of them. Uh, but there's some I can't, like the Amphibian Fossil, uh, the Palm Fossil somewhere else, the Dwarf Scrolls. I can't, but I'm getting them fast enough that it's okay, I think. Um, all of the uh, items from the Ginger Island uh, fossils I can't get. The Mummified Bat and Frog. I'm worried about them. I actually don't know what I'm going to do about those. Uh, the Nautilus Fossil. Um, I get enough of those kind of from the beach. I just... Here's the Palm Fossil, for instance. That can come from the beach, too. And from uh, Ginger Island Dig Site. Oh, yeah. Who, yeah, I've watched... Uh, I never know how to pronounce her name. Really? I've watched a few of her videos. Before. And I didn't know she did a uh, billion gold challenge. That's pretty cool. Yeah, uh, Cordite, uh, another Twitch streamer who does Stardew, is actually doing a billion gold challenge right now. I don't know if he's streaming right now, but uh, he's doing. Uh, he's kind of doing it intermittently. Um, actually, I, when I was talking to him about this, that's actually what I brought up. He's gonna finish way before I do because I, that's not the only thing I'm focused on. 
I'm doing, like you said, a million other things at the same time. So I actually have three artifacts done. Might be able to guess why. The prehistoric rib, the prehistoric tibia, prehistoric vertebrae. Uh, those are all um, artifacts that drop from the dinosaurs in Skull Cavern. So if you kill the Pepper Rexes, drop those. So as a result, I've got a whole bunch of them. I actually have a bunch of extras that I keep ready. Um, so most of these are pretty straightforward. I get enough artifact troves, I open them, and I get them. A lot of these are just kind of like, I have to bomb the mines for these two, for instance. Uh, and a lot of them I just have to get from artifact spots. It's going to take a while, but it will happen. I'll make sure of it. Okay. Um, from what I heard in someone's comment, and I'm going to have to verify this, but I, I, I think they're probably right. Uh, in the 1.5.2 update, I think Concern Date removed the ability to get more strange capsules. So as a result of that, I don't think I can get a stack of capsules in uh, so I think that will actually come off of here. So most of the stuff on this list is the decorations. Uh, most of this stuff just comes from buying from certain festivals, certain stackable items. So like basic logs, the candy canes, things like that. So I just went through every festival. You can actually see where I where I bought them from. Night market. This is the egg festival. Uh, these are just people. <laughs> you probably knew that one. <laughs> you can buy these from people. Yeah. Uh, so this is behind the community. So I just oh, this is the flower dance. So it's just things like that. I bought pretty much all of them already. Everything on here that I didn't buy is something I can probably only get once. In a and then here's the infamous tea set. It's the last item on my entire list. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think um, I think you're right there, Matrix. I think uh, CA might have saved me a little bit with that one, <laughs> unintentionally, of course. But we'll see. I, I have to double check. Uh, a different source on that. Make sure that that's correct before I just assume that's right. I haven't gotten one since, so it's been a while at this point. <laughs> I also don't have a lot of space on my farm for things to spawn is the thing. <laughs> so it's certainly possible that uh, it just hasn't spawned. Uh, so that's really all the items on the list. The only other things here are just some other things that I've been keeping track of. This is my uh, yearly item tracker. I only started it on year 21. Uh, so the red means I missed it that year. Uh, so the bottom here is the tea set. So there's a lot of red on this one. Hopefully I don't make this mistake again. I don't remember why I missed this rotor crow. Just wasn't there that day or something, or just missed it. Oh, I actually do remember. Okay, so the uh, this is from Spirits Eve Festival. If you okay, Wiki agrees with the capsule capsule statement. All right, yeah, I think that's right. So uh, the Spirits Eve Festival. It starts at like 10 p.m. and you have to get there by 11.50. I thought it was midnight, but it's 11.50. Uh, if you're not in there by 11.50, um, won't let you in. So I didn't want to lose that whole day. And you can see I've already got more Veracrows on here than I have on these two. So this one's already ahead. So it was okay that I missed a day, technically. <laughs> because it's going to take just as long to get these in. Uh, weekly, weekly items, that's something I used to look at. Now I have all this money. So. Okay, so here's a little fun spreadsheet. These are my fish pond items. So basically, I figured out early on, like, oh, you need items to fill up the fish ponds. Um, and I need items for stacks. So I need to make sure that I don't run out of certain items when I use them for fish pond. This is basically just a list of everything I needed for fish ponds. So I took it away from these items here and I put them in a separate place and now they're all here. You might notice this one that's sticking out here, that's the golden relic. Um, as it turns out, I kind of need those golden relics. <laughs> so I've just been kind of uh, assuming that 25 is going to be enough for the fish ponds. We'll see when we get to that one. If it's not, I'll just steal more golden relics away. We might get lucky on the... Uh, they drop from the artifact trove, so it might just get a little extra. Um, and we won't click on that because that's just a bunch of nonsense. Okay, so does anyone have any questions they want to ask about the sheet here? Because I think I'm going to wrap up here pretty quick. <laughs> 